Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest LR Kid Boo, and it's coming in from K. I'm calling him K because I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name. I'm completely sorry, my guy. Send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards.gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Excuse my tone of voice, guys. I just got in and I'm, just, I'm quite a bit tired. Um, So, K sent us uh, 12 cards with two banners. Um, I've already starred, okay, and I'm gonna write down his name when I do get to the end of the video. This is just, wow. We got a part one, Dokkan FX Kid Buu, uh, X, Carnival LR, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, with Int Gotenks EZA, as well as the Tech Exchange Boost EZA, so that's part one. Part two, we have a Dokkan FX Transforming Super Vegito, as well as a Carnival LR Buhan. And within the part two, the Int Super Saiyan 2 into Super Saiyan 3, Angel Goku gets his easy as well as the Tech Majin Vegeta, which I don't know why their easy as have not came to fruition yet, but hey, whatever. And then part three, we have, uh, what's that? Uh, that's Physical Super Saiyan 2 into Super Saiyan 3 Goku's easy a, as well as the STR Kid Buu's easy a. Okay. And then the EX part, we have uh, LR... Super Saiyan 2 Majin, not Majin Vegeta, oh my god, LR Physical Super Saiyan 2 Angel uh, <laughs> Vegeta, it's a mouthful to say, as well as Tech Ultimate Gon's EZA, look at that. Dedication at its finest. Okay, I just want to just say thank you for sending me this. I'm. Uh, we're going to read all these cards when we get to the little custom card, long stream uh, little thing that I have for next month. So with that being said, let's get to the card. I'm going to go and just switch over to here. I have the 200% leader already pulled up just for reference. Let me just go ahead and minimize this. And this is what the little, oh my God, Kid Buu looks fucking creepy. Oh my God. And zooming in does not make it look any better. Um, so we have a uh, Dokkan Fest LR Kid Buu. And then we have a Carnival LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Kid Buu looks like nightmare fuel. Like, Jesus Christ. And I'm pretty sure this, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku is from Legends. Bro, there's no way. What? Where is this Kid Buu from? Fucking hell, bro. Literally, he's from hell. Alright, anyways. Alright, let's pull up Kid Boo, what do we have here? Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. His links, I mean, are shown. Uh, should I? I'm going to cover myself over his links because I don't... I mean, I'm going to read it out to you guys anyways. It's not that big of a video if I cover it, right? Surely enough, surely enough, you guys don't really mind. Look at his defensive stat, by the way. 15,820, bro. <laughs> All right, so his leader skill is... Uh, Oh, of course, he's uh, extreme in. His leader skill is planetary destruction, Majin power, or sworn enemies three key, and won 70% across the board. And his 30% of stats slash 200% leader skill is going to be to battle of fate, transmission boost, or worldwide chaos. So, I'm going to tell you guys this for free. Um, His 200% leader skill is ass. I'm just going to call it as it is. Uh, Your best units on this team is like Rudagarn. Excuse me, Haruta Goat. You have Haruta Goat. You have the uh, Boo. Uh, you have uh, the physical um, Boo tanks. Um, and then, like, um, it's, you're not running Frieza. There's not many Super Bosses characters for you. I mean, you could still run him. You, you technically could. Could you still get away with him? I mean, eh, probably, probably not. You want him to. You want to run him for a Super Boss support, but if you want to run him for that little damn destruction stuff, I mean, so be it. But, I mean, that's it, right? I mean, 21, has 21 fell off a little bit? I mean, eh. Um, uh, you have this sub easy A, uh, skinny boo, exchange boo. Um, you have uh, Mr. Goat. Uh, and then, I mean, I don't know. And then you have the super easy A, uh, physical kid boo. This category is ass and is only carried by a couple of options. I'm just going to say what it is. It is. <laughs> it, it is, okay? Alright, so, his 12 key. He stacks attack and gains 30% defense for one turn while doing Mega Colossal damage to enemies, so he does Mega Colossal on his 12 key. 
And in his 18 key, he still stacks attack and gains 50% defense for one turn and does Meg Colossal damage to enemies. So he's stacking attack on both super attack effects while doing Meg Colossal on both of them, which is obviously disgusting. As well as him gaining a defensive buff one turn in both of his super attack effects. Good. Nothing more, nothing less to say there. Anyways, he activates his interest animation once only. If you guys look closely at the screen, that is, uh, that's Z Broly. I just noticed that. That is Z Broly in the background. Yeah, why not Kid Buu? I don't know. Why not the Nightmare Fuel Kid Buu uh, art? Like, look at him. Uh, he's from the depths of hell. Like, <laughs> he activates his interest animation once only and gets an additional 100% attack and defense for six turns when there is another Majin Power category ally. Nice. So you could just run the vanilla uh, in Fat Boo. I mean, you could just get away with that. Or you could just run Mr. Goat. Um, you could run the, I don't know, what the hell with it right okay <laughs> recovers 15 percent hp at start of turn and if hp is 60 or less recover a additional 10 percent hp so we're already up to up to like 25 percent hp recovery which is obviously nice he starts out with two key and 170 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and he gets an additional 70 percent damage reduction the more hp the greater the damage reduction boost. Nice. So you basically are starting out with 70% damage reduction at the start of turn. Because you're going to be at full HP at the start of fight. Duh, right? Plus, it, and he also launched the additional super attack as you first attack in a turn. Nice. He also recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. So that we're up to 35% HP recovery in total. Revives with hp fully recovered when the character is ko'd once only so he just has a revival in his back pocket like uh the lr metal cooler and plus initial 100 attacking defense and launches a guarantee super starting from the turn in which his characters or an ally's revival skill is activated all right so what are we looking at here this guy has a revival in his back pocket and when he does revive he does get stronger by getting an additional attack and defensive buff guarantee super and that's obviously going to help him out because he gains a defensive buff for one turn and both is his super attack effects right not to mention that that's also going to help out the fact that he is stacking attack in both of his super attack effects so that is very good that he has two guarantee supers built into him provide the condition is right and he can recover up to 35 percent hp he also starts out with a solid amount of attack and defense, I would say. And is that really it? He just has a revival. He has two guarantee supers built into him. He has a, a solid amount of attack and defense built into him. He, has only a, he gets 100% attack and defense after he revives. He has 170% attack and defense at the start of turn. He has 100% attack and defense for those six turns when you have a Majin Power character. He, he can also recover up to 35% hp with 70 percent damage reduction so it recovers up to 35 percent hp 70 percent damage reduction as well as two guarantee supers built into him um and him having revival you can't go wrong he also stack and attack too all right and his active skill greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy and disables enemy action once within the turn so it is looking good for his active skill considering the fact that he is stacking attack in class what do we know about cards that stack attack and then use their active skill attack it's like a bomb right that's the whole reason why str lr cooler was hitting like a nuclear missile when he popped his active skill okay Especially if you're stacking attack in both your 12 and 18 key super attack effects, it's going to hit even harder. Now, his activation condition can be activated when HP is 60% or less starting from the 5th turn from, no, at 60% or more, excuse me. Can be activated HP 60% or more starting from the 5th turn from the start of battle. Okay, so this is pretty much a, like, a mid attack uh, maneuver. Not as it's like mid as in bad, but like it's like a middle of the battle maneuver where you just, oh, I got my active skill. I want to kill off the boss or do I want to save it to the end of the fight where I can just nuke the boss with it? His categories are as shown and his links are Majin, of course, Brutal Beatdown, of course, Morty Meets the Eye, BBB, Infinite Regeneration, Fierce Battle Legendary, Power. It says Legendary Battle, but I know he meant uh, Legendary Power. Um, would I change anything about this card? Uh, the only thing I would give him, I feel like everything here is, everything looks good here. 
because I see where K is trying to go with this design. Like, you want to revive with this character so you can get that additional attack and defense above, as well as that guarantee super, so he stacks with his attack more, so that way he can drop a nuke on the boss with his axe skill attack. With him having that 70% damage reduction in his back pocket at the start of the turn, recovers up to 35% HP, gets defensive buffs on from both his 12 and 18 key super attack effects, and one thing I do want to note is that the, the fact that he's doing mega colossal damage in his 12 key is kind of bananas. It's pretty bananas, if you ask me. Um, the only thing I will give him is keeper keys were obtained he's a he's a majin character keeper keys were obtained let's say that you start with like an ugly rotation you want him to get his 18 key super so you can get his uh 50 defense one turn uh and let's say you have a bad turn you don't have a majin character right next to him to get those links off um the keeper keys are obtained will help him or maybe make him an orb changer or maybe start him out with more key start him out with like six key right because of what i'm seeing inside his kit he only starts out with two key that's it that's the only thing I'll throw on this character. Um, maybe also change him from doing mega colossal damage to colossal damage. Cause I don't know. I don't know. That is pretty nutty. But outside of that, just I think the most, you know, the the thing I look to the most is for these, these Majin characters. When they don't start next to another Majin character, they tend to struggle for key. No. So that is it. Yeah, I don't really have much more to say here. Uh W card. For sure and i'm not gonna lie my brother listen listen i don't know who the hell was in the lab when they made this but man tell them to get straight to those analog horrors like this this is this is spooky as fuck like <laughs> halloween around the corner by the way but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best send me custom cards over to bhdev custom cards at gmail.com so get to your custom card in the future i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way um i don't think there's going to be a unit review today i might have to announce that inside the discord server join the 24 7 discord server by the way uh i like to use the end of the videos to make just small announcements but excuse me i think i'm not gonna do a unit review today because i need to figure out which cards i need to unit review because i'm gonna go ahead and find a little tier list and i'm gonna take that tier list and i'm gonna split it into two parts right as a graph and i'm gonna put units i've done unit reviews on on the top and units i have not done unit reviews on on the bottom or maybe i just won't put them on there at all maybe i just won't put them on there at all. maybe i'll just leave it as one big graph and i'll just leave it as one chart and then any unit i have not unit reviewed i'll just go ahead and leave them on the bottom i think that's a good idea yeah i think that's a good idea yeah I think I'm going to sacrifice me not doing a unit review today just to do that. But yeah, uh, again, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Look at this kid, boo. This shit is... Bro. <laughs> I catch you guys next one. I absolutely love you all. You guys are the greatest. Peace.